Well, if you're house hunting in Portland, Coin6 watching out for you. Right now, it's a seller's market, and that means there's a short supply of homes and a high demand from potential buyers. Emma Jerome joins us live after speaking with local realtors. Emma, what are they predicting for the future of the housing market around the metro? Good morning, Ken and Emily. They're saying that the future of house hunting around here is going to look about the same as it looks right now, and that is if you are house hunting, you're going to be spending on average about six months looking for your home, which might seem like a long time, but it's kind of just what you got to buckle down and do if you want to find that home that's right for you. I spoke with Nicole Lewis, a realtor in the city, and she says a lot of the delay and challenges people are running into are left over from the pandemic. Interest rates are also causing people to not be able to afford what they maybe once could compound these hikes with a poor economy, and she says that is building stress for families. She predicts there will be a crash, and unfortunately, she does believe people may lose their homes similar to what happened back in 2008. And I think it's going to crash due to just the economy, gas prices, food prices. You know, it's staying steady and nobody's going to be able to buy if nobody else is. It's just going to be a cycle. When this happens, she says it will become a buyer's market. There will be more houses available than people to purchase them. That's the exact opposite of what we're seeing now. And she says as hard as it must seem right now to get a house, you just have to be patient. And she says if you cannot afford to buy a house right now, just wait. Do not put yourself in any financial stress just because you're looking for a home right now. Reporting in Southeast Portland this morning, I'm a Jerome, Coin 6 News.